I'm doing this on a weekly basis. DEI is something we must have. Happy DEI Thursday, primetime's favorite day of the week. In honor of Reverend Al Sharpton, we're bringing you the best stories about diversity, equity, and inclusion. For Jackie Robinson Day, Joy Reid's program says Major League Baseball isn't black enough. The number of black American players in Major League Baseball has plummeted to just 6%, offering a warning about what can happen when institutions de-emphasize diversity. Are they saying baseball needs more DEI? Because 30% of the players are Latino. And there's more Asians in baseball than in any other American sport. The league's biggest star is Japanese. Major League Baseball is the biggest professional sport melting pot we have. What about the NBA and NFL? The vast majority of their players are black, 70% around. MSNBC is not complaining. They equate diversity with blackness and blackness alone. They're saying Latinos and Asians aren't diverse. Dan Dakic is the host of Don't At Me on Outkick.com. Dan, uh, you know more about baseball demographics than I do. Is she right? Only 6%? Yeah, that's probably true. But, you know, who cares? Jesse, sports <laughs> is the ultimate meritocracy. I mean, seriously, it is. What are you going to do? Go out and draft players, pass on a really good player because he's not diverse enough? No. Sports has always been the ultimate meritocracy, whether it's 6% or 26%. You were talking earlier. The NBA, 16.8% of the NBA is white as opposed to 75.5% of the country is white. 19% Latinos in the NBA, you, or excuse me, Latinos in this country. 3% are in the NBA. 73% of the players in the NBA are black, only 13% of the population. It's stupid. This argument is made by a dumb person who does not know <laughs> what they're talking about, who is trying to drive race in an area where, Jesse, everybody will tell you, the most diverse thing, the most open thing in our country is a locker room, a professional team. They don't care. Look, there are teams that have started guys that have been up for murder if they're good enough. <laughs> know, they don't care, Jesse. Uh, oh it's the God. dumbest argument ever, Jesse. I know, I know. It's so stupid. I, I, I know. And, and most of the white NBA players are European. So, you know, go figure there. Well, that appears to be diverse. I mean, as you said earlier, is it only black? You know, when you're, when you're involved with a team and you're putting together a team, what you're trying to do is one thing, and that's win. And I swear to God, as a head coach or an assistant coach, whatever I was for 20-some years, you don't care about any of it. You don't. You just want players that fit you. And if they're black, great. If they're white, great. And I know guys across the board, black college coaches, white college coaches, football, basketball, nobody cares. The only people that care are race baiters that have nothing else to talk about, that see a number, equate it to another number, and next thing you know, it's a story. And two very intelligent men, you and I, have to talk about it because it's so stupid. That's what we have to well, do. Well, speak for yourself. I wouldn't call myself intelligent. <laughs> uh, I'm, I have great instincts. How about that? Dan, thank there you so you much. Go. I think you summed it up perfectly when you said, who cares? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.